Hey guys, this is Evan with Backwoods Adventure Mods. Today we're going to go over the frame support brackets for our Highlight Series Tacoma front bumper. So these are a simple bolt-on, no cutting or drilling. They're not required to install the bumper, but we highly recommend them if you're going to be doing any winching, and they're also great to add strength in a recovery scenario. Alright, so depending on how your suspension set up, there's kind of three main scenarios. Still with your factory sway bar, without your factory sway bar, and then with or without some sort of aftermarket remote reservoir mounts. We can't guarantee it's going to work with all of them, but we know it works with this one and some others. And that's the reason why the hardware we include is so long. So you're going to start by taking off the outer two nuts for the frame mount for the bumper on each side. And then the two bolts that hold the OEM sway bar on. You're going to dis discard those because we include the new longer bolts with the kit. The two nuts on the frame mounts are a 14 millimeter socket as well as the OEM bolts that hold the sway bar on. Bolts that we include, you'll need a 17 millimeter socket for. So get it fitted loosely in place and then start the two nuts. Then depending on whether you have a sway bar or not or the remote mount or not, assemble everything in the correct order and get the next bolt started as well. Once everything's started, go ahead and snug it down. If you need to, or if you haven't already, you can trim more off the bottom of the OEM fender liner. I like to tighten everything down in stages, just to make sure the alignment stays the way it should. And that's it, we'll do the same thing on the other side. All right, so that concludes the install of the frame support brackets for our Highlight Series Tacoma front bumper. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, always feel free to reach out to us. BackwoodsAdventureMods.com